list of prominent politicians who are leaving office in 2023. So this list now is a list of people who at the end of their tenure in whatever position they are occupying, they are not going to be in politics for reasons of either completing their constitutional two terms or, or, or not and equally not um not get or not getting a ticket and or equally not getting a ticket for any other office in uh in, uh, beyond 2023 February. So these are people now that will be out of politics effectively from uh, February 2023. So what I'm inviting is, I know you'll say uh, a plague on all their houses, but don't do a plague on all their houses. Do it in a hierarchical form. Uh, which of these seven men would you uh, least regret to see leave office, or would you somewhat have a tinge of regret to see not being in the political public space anymore. So Malam Buhari, he completes his two terms, uh, and then he, of course, retires to either Daura or, or Kaduna, which it seems to be his preferred space uh, to live. So Ma Malam Buhari, bye-bye after February, and some people may say, thank God for that. So uh, uh, next up, uh, 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 Ahmed Lawan. So he, of course, uh, he did not pick up a senatorial ticket. He fought very hard, but the court stopped him. Uh, to, to steal one, that is, but the court stopped him. And of course, uh, he did not get the presidential ticket that was promised him by uh, that uh, by uh, Abdullahi and, and the rest of them. So he's out of politics, at least uh, in, in an official office holding capacity in February. So Ahmed Lawan, Yemi Oshibandu, of course, similar to... Um, to Lawan, but he did not have any option other than to go up. But then, of course, uh, Tinubu gave him a fase. So, Yemi uh, Oshibanjo, uh, no political office uh, for him uh, from February onwards. Nasu El Rufai, he completes his two terms as a Kaduna state governor, and he said he's, he's not going to use the Senate as a retirement home. So, he's out of politics, at least in an official capacity from February. Yemsin Wike similarly yeah, at, at, at Tukwa Abubakar, and Amino uh, Masari of Katina State similarly too. Ganduje similarly, Ganduje out of office, uh, no official uh, 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 political office for him to hold in February. So who amongst those names, if any, would you uh, be, have somewhat of a tinge of regret? To say goodbye to. Let's kick that off with rational mind. You mean one person or just uh, two? I mean, uh, no, no, just go through the list and discuss as you feel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the, the four major people that I would, not, I would like, I would love not to see anymore in the political scene would be Hamed, Mawa, uh, Lawan, um, what's his name? Um, Erufai. I don't want to see me anymore. Why? Why? Er, er, Rufai, a lot of people applaud him uh, for his uh, marvels in Kaduna State. It's, uh, it's kind of politics. It's, um, it's, it's, it's despotic. He has um, uh, a tendency to be dictatorial. And he's not, he's, not, he's not an honest person. He's, very, he's a snake. That's what I will use. I will, I'll refer to him. He's a snake. He, he stabs you and act like he doesn't. he's not the one doing it. He has his two faced. He has one face that he shows to the world, like hey, everybody, but then in private, he knows what it does. We just had recently uh, uh, another people, people killed in Southern Kaduna again. Over two, almost 30 people lost their lives. What is going on? Why, why Southern Kaduna every time? We don't hear all these things in another part of Kaduna, but Southern Kaduna that are predominantly Christian. I mean, this is the same guy that he, he, he had a Muslim Muslim joint ticket in a, in a state whereby, if not even one well, half of the uh, population there are, are, are Christians. You had a Muslim Muslim ticket. So I don't trust that guy. I don't trust him. Uh, all his antecedents from 2014 that brought APC in, what he did, that he said he did, he said he did. I don't trust him. So I would know if I want him. So that one is not a good. Uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 all right. right. National mind, let's do it this way. Just uh, it might well be more fun. So I'll go through the list, and the options are. Uh, uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go, uh, or goodbye, hope I never see you again. So those are the options. Uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go, or goodbye, hope I never see you again. So let's kick it off with Buhari 
uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go, or goodbye, hope I never see you again. Goodbye, sorry to see you go. All right, why? Uh, well, I know because there's nothing you can do anymore. It's the guy is at the stage whereby is is not going to last too much. I doubt if he's going to last ten years from now or, or five years from now. So, but I just hope he lives long. But um, uh, I mean, so far I've not seen him with any. Uh, maybe after he's gone, we we'll find out if he was corrupt. You know, like other people who will hear them, they build um, um, universities and all of that. They build this and that. I've not ever seen it. Maybe he threw his kids there. His kids are all multi billionaires now. Maybe that's what it is. But the guy, you've not been able to pin him with anything for now. So, yeah. Sorry to go. Goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Yeah. Oh, all right. I think you've already given the verdict on, on him. But just because for, for, for the purposes of the list, uh, Senate President Ahmed Lawan, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Or goodbye. Hope I never see you again. I never see you again. Goodbye. I never see you again. Uh, all right, brilliant. Uh, and and Vice President Yemi Oshibadu, goodbye, sorry to see you go, or goodbye, hope I never see you again. Goodbye, sorry to see you go. Why? Well, it's, 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 it's one of those people that I, I felt he, he deserved that position. Uh, but we know how the politics of Nigeria works. I mean, the, the, the few the times, I mean, the few times that he, he, he was acting as the acting president, we saw what he did. That tells us that he's a guy who is not... Um, I don't see him as a dictator. I don't see him as somebody who listens. And you know, Nigeria is not made for the kind of kind of people that listens. People they want to see a tough person that would that would walk roughshod all over all over them. You know I mean? So yeah, uh, then I, I want a Democrat, somebody who has who is intellectually sound like him. Is, is it because of his English speaking? Is that no, what no, 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 don't get me wrong. No, no, no. I just like his personality, the way he talks. I know it's, everything is facade. I know it's just facade. I mean, like, but I still, I still, I still rate him more than any other. Not even Tinubu. I won't know. I won't. Tinubu doesn't. It doesn't even compare to him when it comes to that. Yeah. So sorry to go. Yeah. All oh, 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 right. Brilliant. So so uh, on to the next. Nasser El Rufai. I've already said it. Uh, sorry, I never see him again. Never. Uh, oh, 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 all right. So Yemsen Wiki. Goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Or goodbye. Hope I never see you again. Yemsen <laughs> Wiki. That, that, that Wiki is a little bit tricky for me because I know himself is another small desk, another small dictator too. Um, uh, but then. Well, so goodbye. Sorry to see him go, but um, I just wish he would just go and just not, never come back. <laughs> but yeah, I still believe he's still. Um, well, sorry. So let me just put it at that. I mean, sorry to see him go. Yeah. So you'd like to see him back in politics? Well, in some I see him back in politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, so far, you are consistent with how I imagined you would be. Uh, but Aminu Masari, governor of uh, Katsina State, goodbye. Uh, sorry to see you go. Goodbye. Hope I never see you again. Goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Why? I mean, he's, I mean, he's a good governor. Yeah, he's a good governor. I. He's one of those Fulanis that I see that has as that, that that reasons very well. Even I know he has his own uh, limit. I mean, shortcomings that he has. But I think it was under it was put uh, it was put in that situation, the banditry in the state, how he had to pander to those um, those bandits. Because I know why he did that was because he felt there was no other option for him. Maybe the federal government wasn't responding, so he had to buy them, he had to pay them, which I don't think is something a governor should be doing if he has uh, the means to violence on his under his own control that he can command. But if, because he has to ask the president for uh, for help, and they were just playing politics with it. And so yeah, I would not say it's his fault as such. Uh, I mean, uh, he's one of those quiet northern governors that I see that uh, he's a good guy. Even his personality, I just like him, the way he talks. But um, yeah, um, uh, maybe he has many corruption. We shall find out after he's gone up from the office. We shall find out. But yeah, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Yeah. All right. Dr. Abdullahi, dollar in his pocket, Ganduje. Uh, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Goodbye. Hope I never see you again. Goodbye. I hope I never see him again. But he's a super brain. What do you mean? No, 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 no. That guy is um is a corrupt. He's, he's corrupt. I mean, we saw that video, even though they said it's a doctor, but we saw that this is not a doctor video, it's something he, he collected those dollars. So and um I don't think I don't think he there's any no no such uh, achievement because he he is this kind of um a, uh, a religious fanatics, fanatic. He has this fanatism to him to, to, to his side, even though he has this uh uh this appearance that he put in public that um he's uh he's not a religiously inclined person but yeah if you know 
Masari, I mean, if you know, uh, what's his name? Um, this kind of, kind of state governor, he's, he's, a, he's an Islamist. He's, 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 I mean, we know of, um, recently I had uh, that he sent some people to, uh, to uh, say to Mecca or some places to go learn Quran and things like that. I say, my goodness, but is that what you're supposed to be doing as a governor? I mean, you're, champion, you're a governor of a state as, um, I mean, one of those richest northern states, if not the richest northern state after Kaduna, perhaps. And then you are you are doing things like this. I mean, I I, I see him as an as an ethnic champion and as a religious bigot. Yeah. For that reason, I would say goodbye. And plus that um, the corruption thing that is that has been on his neck, the Gandola thing. Uh, I just wish he never comes back. I mean, couple with us, his skills are also. You don't you don't see him as a talent. I see him as a talent. You see, I, I know I know why you are so fascinated by people. You don't get drawn to people who are. For me, I don't want people. I mean, he's a he's a little despot of his own too, because he's he's dictatorial too. Um, there are some, uh, like some people who criticize him in Congo State were jailed. They were, they were they were manhandled. They were DSS have to arrest them. I mean, what kind of a person is that? Someone who does not uh, respect uh, freedom of speech. And we see this is a so-called uh, religious uh, police, how they might treat people there. I mean, is that the kind of person who wants to come, come and rule over Nigeria? So I don't want him, if he goes to Senate, if he goes to anywhere, he's going to be a, still a champion of those his religious uh, fanatism and all of that. So yeah, I don't I don't want to see him in politics anymore. Let him go, let him go and relax. Oh, go all and right. Loot, has looted. Oh, all right, brilliant. It seems so much fun. Let's run it all the way through to land it on Fatai. So Ajale Koko, you're up next. And uh, so the fun game we're playing, we were playing with uh with uh, uh, uh rational mind. So uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go. Goodbye, hope I never see you again. We kick it off with the Aboki from Daura. So Malam Bohari from February, you will not see him in the papers again. So would you regret uh his uh leaving the center stage? Goodbye, sorry to see you go. Goodbye, hope I never see you again. Uh, Ajaleko, kick it off with Malambo Ari. Goodbye, never see you again. Because? Yeah, because this is a man that promised so much to Nigerian before elected into the office. He promised to fix the economy. He promised to fix the security. He promised to, fix, to fight uh, corruption, but he failed in all this area. He had destroyed our country, economy, in totality. His and with um, the way he mismanaged the economy of Nigeria, Nigeria credit rating has been grand, downgraded by international credit um, rating um, firm like Moody, like S&P, like uh, uh, Fitch. And the implication of, the, of all of this is that Nigeria is no more an attractive country to international investors. And if you don't have international investors in this global economy, which is, you know, a, I mean, a global village economy, as you know, all economy around the world are connected with each other. I mean, how do we get out of it? So he has set us backward, 40 years backward, <clears throat> economically, unity of the country, he mismanaged it. I mean, what is it that this man, havoc, that this man have not brought on us as a country? Right now, Nigeria look as a country with no future. The future cannot be predicted. We don't know what is going to happen in the future for us as a country. The economy is down. Politically, we are we, we, politically badly managed. Unity in, in disarray. What is it? This man should just go and, I mean, never see him again and never pray for such a person to be our president oh, all right ne uh, let me take you on to the next one the senate president ahmed lawan uh goodbye sorry to see you go goodbye i uh, hope we never see you again hope i never see you again goodbye never see you again this is a man that is the senate president among other representatives across the country that were given the mandate by the people to represent the interests of the people, but rather 
surrender that mandate to the presidency and turn that chamber, the 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 the, the chamber of power of the people, turn it to rubber stamp of everything that comes there. So this kind of person and people like him must never smell any seat of power in that country. So goodbye, never see you again. Oh, oh, all right. So uh, uh, on, on to the next, uh, your diminutive uh, vice president, Yemi Ochebanjo. So he, after February, he can't go up and he can't go down. So he goes home. Goodbye. Uh, sorry to see you go. Goodbye. Hope I never see you again. Uh, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Because um, Oshibajo found himself in the midst of corrupt people uh, that, you know, um, have their own agenda unknown to him. And unfortunately for him, he doesn't have any power to change anything or effect any change. So he just hung him there. And uh, to me, I think he has learned his lesson. Maybe next time, when any opportunity comes his way, maybe he could do better. So goodbye. Uh, sorry to see you go. I will, I will, I will say that to him. Uh, all right, still, still uh, staying with short little men, the diminutive uh, four foot one from uh, Kaduna State. Nasu El Rufai, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Goodbye. Hope I never see you again. I think I will give him goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Uh, the reason being that this man has transformed Kaduna State uh, to a state he has modernized. Kaduna State. He has uh, opened up Kaduna State, um, you know, to investors. He has uh, put in place a lot of uh, infrastructure, a lot of uh, good things that we can see. He even tried to um, <clears throat> demonstrate um, leadership by example when he put a register his son in public school and uh, which no other elected uh, representative or people in the, the high office political office like that have been seen or uh, done before but he did it he registers his son in public school uh, if not for the security reason that he has to uh, you know um, and uh, uh, withdraw uh, withdrew his son from the school, that's, that son would have still been in that public school. And that would have, uh, you know, um, um, given him that, that um, urge to invest more on uh, uh, public school education. So he tried his best, according to information, and news and a lot of things that we have seen that he did in that state, particularly the way he has opened up the economy, he has modernized the economy of that uh, Cardinal state, and the way he allowed people from other parts, the best brain from other parts of Nigeria, from Yoruba land, from Igbo land, from other parts of Nigeria, to be part of his government, to help him to you know, develop that economy. I think I, will, I, I think um, it's a man that did well and he, he have vision. Uh, he has put in place a template that the coming, those coming behind can follow and then continue to develop that state. So I will say goodbye. Uh, sorry to see you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So Ajale Koko, they say he is partial to uh, a, a shot of brandy or two. It certainly sounds drunken anytime you, you, you hear him, but for his singing prowess alone, Yemsen Wiki, uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go, or goodbye, hope I never see you again. Yemsen Wiki. Yemsen Wiki, sorry to, uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go.
you see this man has brought uh within this short period of time that we had they had their presidential primary and now he has brought some sensational into the politics of nigeria this man did what other have never done in pdp his name is registered as a man that funded that party you know strongly when that party was abandoned by those that are seen as the founding fathers of that party atiku atubaka ayotayu and some others um that are founding father when they abandoned that party to uh apc to form apc he was there he struggled hard to retain the party to make the party work and make it competitive against this thing so he's too firm and when he contested for um what do you call this thing um, um uh, presidential uh, ticket of the party he gave a very tough fight against Atiku that had, you know, um, um, uh, structure around the country in the party. If not for what do you call this guy, um, Tambua, that stepped down with, um, what do you call him, uh, Ayotta Ayu, that manipulated the process because I said he manipulated the process because the rule does not allow a candidate to address the delegate twice it was only once that the rule allowed but ayosha ayu allow um tambua to address for the second time told the candidate and his delegates that he's stepping down and inform his delegates to vote for article that was what went wrong that Ayesha Ayu did. So um, if not for Tambua that stepped down, Wike would have won that primary and Wike, you know, would have for the first time show to Nigerians that a Southerner be in a, 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 a party that is seen as maybe Northern dominated party and still come out on top of them. So but because of that treacherous uh, act by Tambua, so he lost that say. But since then, he with the group I have been fighting that the chairmanship of the party, since the party have the presidential flag bearer as the, as the uh, uh, a northerner, then the chairmanship of the party must come south. And the stood firm and is leading the G5, fighting that struggle and fighting it hard and has brought PDP down. We saw PDP, we have seen PDP today as a no-show party, a party that is not in the race, a party that is lacking behind. Tinubu is leading this race. Obi is, is, compet is competing, it's like at par with PDP in this context. So due to weak factor, so I give it to him and due to infrastructure that this guy has built within a short period of time, within a year. All this infrastructure oh. that this guy has um, built at their commission recently is within the year. He awarded the contract last year oh. and they are commissioned this year. So beautiful infrastructure, health center, I mean, um, uh, cancer center, we, we have the judicial, oh. I mean, oh. law school. Oh, 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 all right. So all that's a uh, sorry to see you go, Abby. So, so it's sorry to see you go. The week I've done well as well. Oh, oh, all right. I, I never had any real serious awareness of him, but uh, his tenure comes to an end and uh, he, he's not taking up any uh, and, any election. And let me tell you this another thing that did good is that if he had wanted to go for the Senate, maybe the law would have come up, he would have done it. But he, he said it before contesting that he want to go for presidency and he, he he doesn't want to he want to retire he doesn't want to go for any senate or so, something like that you know his friend or tom is going for uh senate now so after retiring or tom is going for senate so but he decided that no another person should go for those senate position is not contested so 
he did that in that respect. Respect. So, sorry to see you go, uh, wicked. Oh, all right. Uh, snapshot answers to the next two, so I can go into Sake further. But uh, uh, I wasn't even aware that he was there. Uh, but nevertheless, he seems to be coming to the end of his tenure. Uh, Aminu Masari, the governor of uh, Katsina State, so he completes his two terms, is not going anywhere but to his home. So is it uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go, uh, goodbye, hope, uh, uh, hope I never see you again, or is it even a case of, uh, oh, oh, I never even knew you were there? So this one gets three options. Goodbye, sorry to see you go, goodbye, I uh, hope I never see you again, or oh, I never even knew you were there. So Aminu Masari. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I will give him goodbye, sorry to see you go, because uh, this man, during the time of that, uh, when this um, uh, herdsman um, uh, killing of people was at his height, I think he came out openly and told the country that 90% of these people causing this killing are full men. So for somebody, who is a full animal and can be so bold to say it i hope you i, I think I, the, the, you remember one man we treated it here so yes. for as a full animal to say that that it is it's his own people that are causing this havoc i think i i i i have a respect for him yes for, and and the sultan of sokoto said this similarly as well which which so, we then opened up it, it it allowed us to move from being accused of being ethnic to addressing the question addressing it yes yes so uh for that singular act i think he earned my respect and i will say to him uh goodbye sorry to see you go all right so so this guy now he's partial to a dollar as you know but they seem to love him nevertheless in his own home state is dr abdullahi put the dollars in my pocket ganduje uh goodbye sorry to see you go goodbye hope i never see you again abdullahi dollar ganduje look i have to say goodbye uh and never see you again because of uh the video we watched as uh, this guy was talking money in his uh, Babari guy in his Agbada collecting that uh, dollar. Uh, that does not show a very good image of uh, the people of Kano. People of Kano are very uh, intelligent people. Uh, they are they they um, very good people, and that is the state where Amino Kano came from. Uh, a man that. Um, that during his lifetime he fought all his way fighting for poor people uh the talakawas and uh, you know he 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 he, he, he ensured that um, um poor people got education and um he, he he always standing by poor people the interests of the poor people so and that was what um leaders after that that um that that Talakawa's um, 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 doctrine, you know, uh, you know, um, uh, you got a lot of, you know, people from Kano to adopt that doctrine. Um, uh, Abubakar Rimi and uh, some others like that, even um, 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 Kwakwaso that we know today that is his doctrine that he practices in uh, politics talakawa's uh, politics let's care for poor people let's provide for poor people let's educate poor people let's invest on uh, you know um everything that can can take people out of poverty but you as a professor now caught on video <coughs> taking bribe from contractors uh, I mean that. I think he, he he brought shame on the people of Kano, and people of Kano doesn't uh, deserve to have this kind of man uh, again at the top of affairs of governmental affairs in in their state. So for that reason, I will said goodbye. Never see you again, uh, Gandu Dollar. 
Gandola, Gabdulai Gandola. Gandola. Oh, all right. I, like that, <laughs> I love that guy, though. I like him. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> He's yeah, 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 just like it, 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 it's so witty, and I like witty people. It's so witty. Yeah. And that's why. But I like he did, he did some yeah. good things there, though. But in that state, he, he did some good things. There. He did a lot of infrastructural yeah. dualization of roads, yes. bridges, yes. all of these things. He yeah. did a lot. He, he did yeah. a lot of good, good work there. But that singular image. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. man, it, it's bad. And he, it, I mean, he brought shame on uh, people of Kano. And uh, no, people of Kano deserve better than that. So, person like that, bye bye. Uh, never see him again. Oh, all right, brilliant. Thank you, Ajale Koko. So, uh, up next, uh, Saki Fada, you, you know the routine. So, it's goodbye, uh, the goodbye. So, we kick it off with uh, Mal Malambo Hari. So, uh, as soon as the clock well, strikes, let me start. Yeah. Let me start with uh, number one goodbye, and yes, never to see again. Yeah, number one goodbye. That should be Lawan. one. Right. You know? and let's follow the yeah, sequence. Goodbye. Otherwise, you 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 take us out of skill. Skill. As uh, kick it off with Buhari. Okay, goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Goodbye. Hope I never see you again. Malam Buhari. Um. Well, goodbye. Never to see him again. But where as a person, I I I see him as someone that that uh, has character, like has integrity. You know, I think the fundamental mistake he made in his administration is uh, the way he made his appointments, and I think uh, that is the major contribution to to the failure of the administration or him as a person you know uh, I think he he has uh, values he he might not uh, I don't think he's corrupt as a person you know but <coughs> you there? Didn't, uh, well, he wasn't quite uh, uh, very sensitive to to the way he uh, had his appointments and then he didn't have uh, uh, much of more the proper monitoring and you know checks and balances in his administration and so I would say that uh, his administration actually possibly had some failures because of because of people that surrounded him, but him as a person, I think that, that, that's my point, you know. Uh, but all in all, you know, goodbye is what I would say. So sorry to see you go, or yeah, is this is that a sorry um, to see you go? I, I would say, or just um, goodbye, or, or just goodbye, or just goodbye. Yeah, you I'll, can stop I'll, and I'll, goodbye. I'll, yeah. I'll quite, I'll quite ambivalent here, you know. It's like a, a, a case of misfeelings, you know. On the one hand, goodbye, sorry, as it for 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 his personality, but on the other, on the other hand, you know the most things we have in this administration, you know, and, and not sorry to to see you go, not sorry to see you go, you know. No, oh, so that's oh, the right. point. Oh, all right, you couldn't wait to get to him, so go to him now. Senate President Ahmed Lawan. Goodbye, sorry to see you go. Goodbye, hope I never see you again. Goodbye, hope I never see you again. You know, he's, he's the worst uh, Senate President ever in the history of Nigeria. You know, he's, uh, he's just a... He made the Senate to become visibly rubber stamp, you know, they are just, uh, what do we call it? Uh, they just uh, are working in, on the messes of the executive, you know. They don't have those uh, powers of oversight. They failed in their oversight function. They failed in their representation function. They also don't make it function. So all in all, you know, uh, goodbye. Uh, goodbye, goodbye, and hope I never see you again. That's that's the point. You should be number one on that oh. list. 
Oh, all right. I think we all know where you'll be going with this one. Uh, the short little man from Ikene, Vice President Jemi Oshibanjo, uh, he leaves office permanently on the 29th of uh, March. Goodbye. Hope I never see you again. Sorry to see you go. Uh, Flaky father. Good, goodbye. And we want to see you again. We want to see you again. We want you to come to the next administration. You know? <laughs> Even if it is... Uh, advisory rule you know you know uh, not no longer for no longer for maybe more of you know give advice and uh, act as statesman you know and then uh, give fatherly advice you know i it's it will be regrettable to lose him you know it's a nice man i see him and i like him very much so. So goodbye to see you go. Uh, all, all right, brilliant. So brilliant. So still staying with short little man. We go to Kaduna Nasu El Rufai. Your verdict. I see El Rufai. Goodbye. Good. What's what's the other option? Is it not goodbye? Yeah, goodbye, sorry to see you go. Goodbye, hope I never see you again. Ah, I think I will say goodbye, hope I never see you again, for two reasons. You know? Number one is that uh, Kaduna, Kaduna became land of bloodshed, you know, especially in the southern Kaduna. Maybe he did well in infrastructure and other things, you know, but when it comes to the to the number of lives that we are lost and all these uh, crises that happened in Kaduna. I think we should pay attention seriously to that very space because all these things were not happening in the northern part of Kaduna, but it keeps happening in the southern part. And I heard there's, there's another one that happened, is it yesterday or today again, you know, in southern Kaduna. So that's, you know, I would say, uh, goodbye and uh, uh, goodbye and we wish we don't see you again. You know, oh. uh, number two again is the issue of uh, the issue of uh, the way he he didn't uh, maybe I will look at it from the way he I think he's the first administration that maintain this Muslim Muslim ticket, you know? Yes, in Kaduna, yes. Uh, yeah, so I think he didn't like listen to the sensibilities of that Southern Kaduna parts, you know? So, so I don't think I will, I think I will say goodbye and uh, wish we never see you again, so. Oh, oh, all right, they say he's a partial to Sapele water. He certainly knows how to sing, but is that sufficient enough reasons to have him uh, around? Yemsin Wiki, so he leaves office uh, in um, in February. Goodbye, sir, sorry to see you go. Goodbye, hope I never see you again. Yemsin Wiki. Nigeria, we miss Yemsin Wiki. Wiki is, uh, of course, not from Wales. We want to see Wiki back, honestly. He fought. This is uh, a wiki is an evidence of uh, Veni Vinci Vicky. That is, I went, I saw, and I conquered. You know, he, he fought. He fought for the people, and again, he gave another dimension to. Are you? Are you Forget about the way he so talks. Okay. You know. Exactly Another thing I like that. about him as a politician is that it's he appears yet. to. Thank you, Father. I think Ajane Koko is uh, is joking with you somewhat. Yeah. Thank you, Father. You <laughs> and when when have you talked to Hillary Clinton? He says he's joking with Sorry. me. I I went. I can saw. You hear me? I conquer. Ca can you hear? Can you not hear Ajane Koko? No, I can't hear Ajane Koko. I mean, he, he was asking that when did you turn, turn to Hillary Clinton's surrogate, uh, saying, I went, I saw, and I conquered. Hillary Clinton made that speech. Went turn and come and come. From oh, 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 only, only that she just lost. That's just the little matter she lost. 
<laughs> but rather, Trump, Trump was the one that came and conquered her. <laughs> so actually, Wicke's personality, I think he's the only politician that I see him as someone who likes to keep agreements, you know? And he's not someone that is so flippant to the extent of, you know, saying what you discussed in secret. But when you try to go against what you guys have uh, agreed upon, he doesn't shy away from coming to the public and saying it the way it is. So I think uh, Wike is uh, a character that people can emulate somehow in the political space in Nigeria. In terms of infrastructure, he did very well. He did very well to his people. In terms of knowing politics, he was able to distinguish himself to show the people that he has something on ground, that he has, he's very relevant, you know? So when you are discussing uh, people with uh, that has influence in terms of uh, voters, you will all, you'll always put him in the equation of things, you know. So I think we will miss Rike, we will miss uh, uh, someone like Rike, you know, after this administration. We will miss him. Oh, all right. All right. We will certainly miss this. What is the best that we did? What is the sweet to us in the They never say something. It's a river state something. I'm not sure there's a more ridiculous. Uh, maybe uh Dino Melaye is just marginally more ridiculous. Uh, but uh, Aminu, Aminu Masari of Katsina State. Uh, Sorry to see you go. Hope I never see you again. Actually, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know, know him very well, honestly. You know, I, I wouldn't say much about him as a politician. So I don't really, I'm not very clear about his uh, political environment, you know. So I don't think I have much to say about him. Let me not say what I don't. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, okay, to the last man, I'm sure you know enough and you have uh, sufficient thoughts. He he, he, he loves a dollar as much as anyone else. <laughs> uh, Ab Abdullahi Gandola. So sorry to see you go or oh, hope I never see you again. Uh, goodbye, hope I never see you again. That, that's that's what I have on that point, you know. That's, that's uh, dollar things on and, the... And, uh, uh, those kind of things, you know. I think, uh, I think if he were someone like Juan Quasso, you know, I would have said otherwise, you know. You know, if I judge what Juan Quasso has done in Canada, in Canada States, you know, during his time, and uh, uh, what this man has been able to achieve, you know, I think I would judge him otherwise. But for now, goodbye, I will wish we had. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Always brilliant by Saki Fada. So uh, up next, uh, World Peace. Uh, World Peace 2-8. Uh, goodbye, hope I never see you again. Goodbye, sorry to see you go. Malam Buhari. Uh, goodbye, hope I never see you again. Can you hear me? Yes, because... Because uh, before Buhari came into... Uh, okay, let me quickly say this. Because of burnout, I'm having a pending transaction with uh, Igmatic, which I've, I've made a couple of thousands of dollars. But uh, now the dollar is not fixed. It, the our Nigeria port price is not fixed. So I don't want to see him again at all. But before he came, the dollar was fixed in Nigeria. At least the economy was still at least stable. We were still in a good shape to a certain extent. Now the com economy is nowhere to be found. And Nigeria is a share of itself. So you only for that. Goodbye. I don't want to see you again. Oh, 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 all right. I don't want to see you again. So, so from uh, Malam Buhari to to uh, uh, Ahmed Lawan, the Senate President. Goodbye. Hope I never see you again. Sorry to see you go. Goodbye. I hope I never see you again. 
because that guy's a rubber, a rubber stamp uh, senator. He's the worst of the worst of uh, all the uh, all the sin president we we have uh, we have seen or we have had in. Uh, I think it's the Ninth Assembly, right? He's in the worst assembly sent as a senate, uh, senate president we've ever seen everything Dwari bring goes so that guy i don't want to see that guy again yeah put us to this running one man oh all right and to the short little man from me kennedy the vice president uh goodbye sorry to see you go goodbye hope i never see you again oh goodbye sorry to see you go that guy got things in him we should like it or not uh he was one that got the ticket to run for this position that Swaju is running for, I think it will be more a, a bit a, a, be more better and smooth, you know. And if the guy got to be president, we could have seen a better Nigerian though than what we are, we are expecting from Tinubu. Uh, Swaju, um, Sasuba Jog would have, at least, I know, for the few time he took took charge of Nigeria, we could see a direction. So I would love to see more of that guy. Guy got brain. You know, so goodbye. Sorry to see you. Uh, see you go. Sorry and, to see you go. And the little man from Kaduna State, Nasir Erufai. Goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Or hope I never see you again. I hope I never see you again. That guy's a racist. He's a jihadist. You know, so the guy, guy is killing off. Uh, uh, I will say, his state. You're killing off the non-Muslim, non-Fulani. To move to the their kings, their kings, I mean, their traditional rulers. So I don't like that guy. That guy is one sided guy, two faced guy. I mean, a two faced, two faced uh, politician. So I don't like him. So I don't want to oh. see him again. Oh, oh, all right. And to the uh, whiskey lover, Sapele Water from the creeks, uh, of the creeks, is a river state something? Yemsin Wiki, uh, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Hope I never see you again. <laughs> that the last thing is uh, is on uh, for wiki is it depend on say we you know it's here for the next government. <laughs> That's what I will yeah. use. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on say we know it's sorry is uh, sorry to see uh, see you go. Uh, that's a man I would love to see it because after you, you now he leaves now we will not be hearing all those uh, all those young guys will be hearing from uh, this is your fight we are hearing all these banters we will not be hearing them again. Those drop those hit they are dropping we will not be hearing them again. One man, about to release heat for us. Maybe, maybe we we'll go and join Dino Melaye in the comedy <laughs> in the comedy skits uh, sector. <laughs> eh? So sorry to see see him go. I would love to see more of that guy, you know. But Shogun I, 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 I don't know if you know sufficient about him. The uh, governor of Katsina State, Amino Masari. Uh, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Or hope I never see you again. He's not that guy that looked like a butcher. Uh, it's somewhat yes. Is it yeah. the one? Oh, no, I don't think that's the one. Or I think that's a different one. I mean, the one that he, he looks, about that. No, he, he looks ill-fed somehow. Uh, it's more, the one that looks ill-fed. Uh, okay, the one, he was the one that was accused of returning a bunch of ninety million loot. Um, I, I, I think it may not be the one. He looks, he looks ill-fed. It, it's a. Yeah. It, uh, that's 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 the only way I can describe him. Uh, Masari. I mean, uh, I mean, Masari. Yes. Uh, I don't know. May well, whatever the, the is one you are talking about, I think it's from uh, I can't remember the one of the other, but not from Katsina. Ah. Trying for six hundred million or what? What is it? Yeah, well, that return ninety million. He returned ninety million. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. million dollars. <laughs> oh, Nigeria. Mashari was a former speaker, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes, as of rep says. Yes. As of rep. Yeah, that's that's, it. Like that, 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 that's him on your screen if you can see the this screen. one now. Uh, yeah, he returned 19 million. This Check one his... doesn't look like a battle. No, he had some money deal that he did. He uh, did so you have to negotiate. Check it up, look it up. Uh, no, Nigeria, uh, you, 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 you will be right because I think we covered that stories, uh, yeah, some time ago. But yeah, uh, he returned yeah. 19 million from me, 19 million, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the dollars. So, yeah, sorry to say, uh, goodbye, never to see him again. This would have killed Nigeria. I don't want to see these people. How first of all, how did you even get tickets to run on, uh, uh, to run to come to come become a, a governor? No, we don't want to see these people. Let them go. I don't want to see them. He, see he, he, he ran on, on Buhari's back. Oh, oh. okay. Uh, okay, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for you to, to our own challenge. Or ah, I, 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 let me just push it on for time. Uh, yeah. Abdullah Ganduje, good like, good guy. Sorry to see you go. Hope I never see you again. Ah, uh, 
Gandola. Gandola. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't want to see you again. I don't want to see those people again. Gandola. No. But he's a nice man. No, I don't want to just uh, criticize him. Yeah, I've done well in Kaduna. Uh, Kano. Uh, yeah, I have my 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 good good friends at the um, that Dylan Prince. I think in short, the one did the the yeah, chairman is my very good friend in that uh, in 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 Kano. That guy is he give he give them uh, give those people free hand. People are foreigners are really doing well in Kano, uh, uh, but uh, when it comes to the political part of it, I don't like him. Uh, I don't want to see him again. One man. Oh, all right, brilliant. Th thank you, Wapi. So, so for Wapi, let's go to Ayo, who we've not heard from all the way through. I'm not sure if he's still with us. Uh, Ayo, are you still there? Yes, right. one man. How uh, come you've been so quiet? I, we've not heard a word from you. No, it, yes, well, it's been fun. I've been listening to everything. You know, I wanted to come in when it was hot, so mm. so that I, I will have given it back to back to back to rational mind and Zaki Father, but for defending what is not worth defending, let's Indefens call it space, 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 space. In, 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 indefensible. Deal. I tell you, are you the same? I don't want to go into that at all. So, yes, uh, woman, is it the same? Are you in the comment section? I don't know. Are you the same as you're in the comment section? I told you the last time. No, I am, I'm not. Hey, oh. It's not. It's not. It's a different that Ayo is something there's the comment section. That guy. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> it's, 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 the rule, it's the rule of that universe. Let, let me. I, I, I want a rational mind. Yeah. Yes. Let, 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 let me make him a mod, let me make him a moderator just so he can be flogging rational mind uh, when he needs flogging. Let me make him a mod. Uh -huh. Enemy number you, 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 one. You, 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 you need a whole you need a whole team to keep an eye on rational mind. So we make him a mod. Uh, 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 all right. So 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 uh, uh so yeah. Uh, so are you then? Uh, you've been listening. So to to the to the game. Uh, Malam Buhari, sorry to see you go. Hope I never see you again. Oh, uh, well, uh, for Malam Buhari, it, I will have, if, if it's possible to say 50 50. Uh, but since that there is no option there, so I'll just say, well, he has tried, he should go. Uh, we will not miss him. But I just hope, probably, maybe when he's out, we might see the good side of things he has done. But the way it is now, you know, there's poverty, there's inflation, there's everything. So which, at least you've done. You should just go back to Udara so and rest. That's all. Oh, oh, all right. And the Senate President uh, uh, Ahmed Lawan, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Or hope I never see you again. Ah, goodbye. Never to see him again. No, you never to see him again. Uh, the reason is just because I, I'm not against him because by law you can be in the Senate for 30 years as long as you are coming back. Your people are letting you. But if they say, look. It's time let somebody else come there. And you're trying to frustrate the guy see if it is meant for you. So and that, that's what I don't really like about him. He should have stick if he had stuck to the Senate, he would have gotten that ticket. But he was putting his eyes on two things: going to the presidency, going to Senate. Even if he, he was being pushed by the APC chairman, at least he should have asked have a rethink and say, Oh. Well, even the governors are saying, let it go to the south. So why am I doing this? So uh, uh, for him, sorry, he should never come back again. Uh, uh, all right. And to the Akuru Kete of Ikene, otherwise known as Yemi or Shibanjo, uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go, or goodbye, hope I never see you again. Oh, to the prof, to the prof. Uh, oh, this is one, this one, because prof has been a nice man. Somebody, you know, from the days of the Attorney General in Lagos State. Uh, but, uh, you know, sometimes, oh, it's just like a story of the prodigal son. You know, if you come back to him and he says, oh, daddy, I'm spending the money, I've repented, please forgive me. So I would like to see him more again. I wouldn't say because of what has happened. I know there's a lot of comments, you know, a betrayal and things like that. But uh, if you look at that, I will look at this good side more than the little bad side he has done so because he was there by right, Tino Boost, he stood by him during those times of yes, of Obasa Joe with holding the fund for Lagos. So I was, I still want to see him more again. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. And the short man devil of Kaduna State, goodbye. Sorry to see you go, or goodbye. Hope I never see you again. The short man devil from uh Kaduna State, ah, Malanese Rufai, hmm, very controversial. 
goodbye 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 i will have love yes goodbye yes please will not see you again but if you know go away he's coming back yes he is coming back but Let's yeah, I, th I think it will come back if the noble yeah. wins anyway. Yeah, it will. It will, it will, it, yes, that that is not yes. I can't mm -hmm. tell you if he is going to come back once the noble wins, he's going to come back. So I would have loved it to go and rest and let, but he would he will surely come back. But for me, I would say go and rest and never to come back. But he will surely come back if the noble wins. In in oh. is is starting a political dynasty of his own. His son is going to the is out of rep or senate. His son, he? yeah. Oh, <laughs> so that's that's he's building another, yeah, I'm another building building in, the, in the north there too. So <laughs> that, that's the that's the quickest route to money now. So if you have if you have an opportunity to slot your children into politics, you won't be sending them to the, some bank to be carrying application all over the place. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because fire your fire son is contesting for. Or I think is it or, rep or as of assembly, I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe rep, rep yeah. or senate. I, I know it's one of the two, sure. Yeah, you, you know, like like Mohammed son, like Mohammed son, he did that too. He did, uh, yes, yes, yeah, he did that, but it's only when when is uh, <laughs> she when is she coming coming up for? Is, is it going if, to be even Babangida's Babangida son tried car and uh, Niger State. I think he failed. Uh, and, son and, and, uh, yes, and, I, I'm not I'm not sure she eat will come out. No, I don't think so. But Sanu I your the batifier. I your the batifier. When is she you coming out? I got a good say. Who thinks so? I don't think so. I say you might have deal. She 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 you look replace on all luna. She you look replace on <laughs> no, 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 one man, one man, don't, don't let us go to that. No, no, we go. Is that even possible? Come out, no, no, if, if there's anybody who will come, who will come after Solo, then it will be Murio Kola. No, it will ah, forget, forget Murio Kola. Maybe, maybe, say you will go to Senate then. Uh, well, yes. No, if he was going to go to say, you know, he would have he would have gone already if he wanted to go to Senate. I I think they are grooming him to replace on Wolu, especially if his father wins the presidency. It's impossible. That's for that's him right. To... Yes, yes. If I, if father wins the presidency, so it's going to be after some Wolu. What has your ego got to do with who becomes governor? What does your vote have to do with who becomes governor? It doesn't matter. It's the family property. They have a close up. It's the family property already. And why your knee? My father never. <laughs> you have shared no, among no, yourself. No, no, it's too early for, I don't think so. No, you, that, that, okay. I don't think so. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you can trust your daughter with him, but Mama. don't let it. Oh, yeah, go on. Mama, would you would you accept a she a she Tinubu as a governor of Lagos State? Hey, he's a very competent guy. So, and I want a competent man in charge of Lagos State. Of course, I would. She yes. Tinubu. Yes. It's not done oh, by father. father. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't see him as a competent to handle Lagos State. What, what, what makes him competent, woman? Uh, because he's handled places like Alpha Beta to turn it into a global brand. Sheikh Tinubu, Alpha Beta? Yes. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Uh, well, uh, uh, all through time till till I've now. I've never seen his name listed on the board of directors. Uh, you don't have to say it, but it's so, there. So I, I don't know. Uh, it, it runs a um an advert. I mean, I don't. I don't mean it's an advertising a media kind of a media. Yes, it, it it runs the lucky toll gate as well successfully. Really? Yes, <laughs> and then you can you count that as something to to put on the TV as a governor. Is that is that not a successful really? enterprise? Uh, really? uh, 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 one man. So one man. So you 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 want you want Lagos State to be still be under the tutelage of the Tinubus? 
after the Tinubu is long gone. Uh, after the, uh, after the, a, a successful dynasty, yes, I want Lagos State to be under a successful dynasty, yes. Oh my God. Do, do, do you not? Do you not? No, no, no hell no. You don't. Come on. Come you, on. You, 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 want, you want it to be under a failure, is that what you want? No, it's not going to be under a failure. Lagos, Lagos uh, I, I've always told people, the dumbest person can rule Lagos because what we, what you need to do to get money is just there. We just need someone that you know has the people of uh, the people at heart, and uh, of which uh, the people that so far, apart from uh, uh, Amberdey, um, um, I don't think any of them, and maybe Fashola, I don't think any of them had the interest of the people I had. So, but I mean, that's me. Oh, all what, right. What uh, do do well? Oh, so, uh, uh, no, no. Uh, the president governor does not have that. Oh my goodness! Go to Le go to Lagos and see my brother. Go to Lagos and see what is going on. The guy has abandoned governance and following Tinubu everywhere he goes. Go to govern. Go to Lagos and see what is going on. There. I was in Lagos. I saw what now Lagos was. I was like, "What is happening here?" He is he, he, out of touch. He doesn't know what he's doing over there. Look, I let me tell you. Yeah. See, see my brother. Sure if doesn't you doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, my, my brother, if you go to if you go to international airports, I was shocked at what I saw. And I know I was not asking question. And then I said it was Ambode. Look, that Ambode guy, that Ambode guy did a lot of work in Lagos State. I mean, I mean like those days, I don't know if any of you were you used to go to international airport those days. I you go there today and you see what Ambode did there. No, no, Joe, I mean, you're mixing up things. Hold on, hold on. What is international airport has to do with Lagos State? That's federal government. No, I don't no, know. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the road. I'm talking about the road that leads to the to oh, the oh, oh, the airport road. It's all okay. That leads the to the airport road. Yeah, that's okay, what I mean. Okay. Yeah. So he did he did an excellent job. You know, but it's okay. I mean, that's why I don't want to for 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 this. Oh, 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 all right. Let's get it back on stream. Uh, so back to it. Um. So Ayo, you can trust him with your daughter, but don't let him anywhere near your drinks cabinet, the Omoti of River <laughs> State. Uh uh Goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Or goodbye. Hope I never see you again. The Omoti oh, no, of no. River State. No, sorry to go. You see. You, you can see we can somebody who, who like looks like a drunkard uh, almost in the morning but uh he's, he's making the policy and it's, it's making sense for what he's saying so uh I, I i still want to see him play a role see him come back and do things so i, I don't you see as long as he's doing he's doing good governance even if he likes he drinks after work i don't care or he do at least he's doing the right thing and he's letting us see that oh this is the right side we want to go. Not uh, Okoa, that they had the meeting, saying this is one we want. And I, I, I don't think he went behind to get the slot. So I still want to see more of Wiki. Yeah. All right. I'm I Amino mean, Masari. Uh, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Or hope I never see you again. No, I, I hope I never see him again. He's done. Uh, you know, yeah, he, 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 that's the last. He has done everything. So I don't, I don't want to see him again. Uh, all right, and the American greenback, almighty dollar, the dollar known as Ganduje. Goodbye, sorry to see you go, or hope I never see you again. Yes, for this woman, I, I, I think I don't know. I was listening to uh, Dogoa, the I think the majority leader in the house he was talking about things that he has done. That oh, that oh, um, that he just really done well in Kano State. In terms of security, in terms of business, everybody's striving. So, no, I, I didn't really follow that space well. So, but according to the way he was hyping the praise on him and things like that, so he's thinking that he has really done well. That uh, if given more chance, he, he would do more. So, uh, but 50 50 to me, and Kodizu is age again. So, uh, it's likely he should, he should go back and relax in Kano, but I don't know why he's going. All around with Tinubu, as if he's, he's the from running me to Tinubu. Uh, he was he was with him during the very of um, this this senator. This no, the ambassador that died in Spain, Serik de Mola Seriki, he was there with him throughout. So I don't know why he left the governance of Kano State now going all around maybe with Tinubu. So, maybe, so that means is he working for a portfolio after that? Who knows? But Left to me, I, don't, I want him to relax, and that should be the end. So, it, I, it will be the governor of Central Bank. 
when uh, when Chidubu becomes the president. Do you think do you think Tinobu will Yoruba fire his administration in the way uh Buari Abokify this administration? Oh man, I am 90 percent I tell you, there will be so many, so many Yorubas in his cabinet, if you wish. So many. I, I can tell you that so many of them will come back. Already you are demarcating this your Tinubu already because right when you're saying this, a lot of the northerners that are listening will say, okay, so look, you see, you see, oh rational mind. The truth must be told. I'm not saying it would it will not be balanced. I'm not it will not be like Buari where you see there's there are some things about Buari which I don't like. I will give just two. Why I'm but Tinubu will not be like that. Even if you are replacing oh the minister, no, the minister of finance who stepped aside herself why not give that slot back to that state or to that region if not the state even the, even the state are you not saying there are not so many capable hands in that state who can the same thing when fowler you know resigned to form frs why not give that slot back to Lagos state say oh give us another person there why bring in an ausa full and there so that is but i don't but so when I'm saying there will be so many you, but I'm not saying that, oh, it will be just one-sided. No, it will be balanced. But I'm just saying at least it will, you will see there that, oh, there's a chunk of this there, but it will be balanced. So that's what I mean. Ayo, how can you have so many you have a balanced um, cabinet? Oh, you are yeah, I'm surprised you. <laughs> I know. It can't be so many. It can't be so many. And you still have balance. I'm just saying. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm just saying. Yeah, so certain things you hear in this platform that you will never hear anywhere in the world. Like what Tyler just you said just now. <laughs> so if I if I know if I because I said there will be so many Yorubas there, does that mean if are you telling me if it will be win, it there will, there will not be more opportunity for the evils? What are we saying? So why are we pretending? Why are you saying it's not gonna happen? It will, but it should not be too much to one side, it will happen. That is it. Naturally, it will happen. So I stand to oh, be correct. It will happen. Oh, oh, oh Librarian. So, so to Fatai. So Fatai to you. Oh, I hope, hope you are still there, Fatai. Oh, Fatai, are you there? Oh, 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 all right. I was rather looking forward to Fatai. He has a very unique and highly intelligent take on things. So from Fatai, let's go on to to Jewel of Natural. Jewel of Natural rejoins us from nigeria so 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 Joel, you are up next so to this space we kick it off from the top madam buhari sorry to see you go hope i never see you again um uh, for buhari you see i, I somehow have a, a support for buhari uh, i will still need to see him write a uh i don't know if he's going to but i think um, he should write a, a book or make a presentation on how what happened really happened in his government. I think um, his health played a part, um, and I think his health it, its health was part of the reason why the ministerialists came out late. And when he started uh, uh, on that note, everything started going wrong. Um, he trusted people around him so much, and um, gave them the power to do stuff. Those people that he entrusted those power to really um, disappointed him or betrayed him. I think what happened was that he left them to their own. There was no inspection, um, and which led to everyone doing as they like. If you, if you can recall uh, when Aisha Buhari was saying that the cabal has taken over at the government house, she was right. We now see it. Um, so, um, but uh, all in all, Talking about infrastructure, he did good. So I would just say what for Buhari. You say? Mm. Hello? No, sorry, Cardion. I think somebody just unmuted themselves. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. So um so based on that, I would just say, you know, um even at that, I would just say bye, never to see him again. I mean, he's about eighty years old, so let him just go and rest. 
Oh, all right. And the Senate President Ahmed Dawan. Uh, goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Or hope I never see you again. Ahmed goodbye. Dawans. Goodbye. Sorry to see you go. And he should be jailed. Um, uh, Lawan, Lawan is the worst city president. I don't know if it's in West Africa. I wish I could get a, a, or even in Africa. Look, that man really destroyed that institution. Made that institution a rubber stamp uh, uh, institution. Uh, uh, never had any respect for his. Uh, he talks down all day on the on the on, on his fellow senators. Um, he, I mean, I mean, no, no, no. He was a mess. Uh, uh, he was a mess to democracy. And thank God for the guy that put him out. Um, he is greedy. Uh, and let's not forget that he is also uh, a political son of Tinibu. Tinibu helped put him there. So uh, part of those things that, you know, I sometimes look at Tinibu and I, I sometimes question. But uh, I'm not going to make it about Tinibu. I'm just going to make it about Lawan. I think he should go. Uh, uh, and if possible, he should be jailed. All right, brilliant. And the short man looking good in Dior, the vice president of Nigeria, Yemi Oshibando. Well, my, 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 my father, my father, right. uh, he, he shouldn't go nowhere. Uh, Oshibando is class. Uh, when you talk about leaders that, um, that, you know, we can look up to in terms of character, integrity, uh, uh, and everything that has to do with the leader, courage. Um, I think Osibanjo um, uh, represents all of that. So I think um, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sad that he's leaving. Um, I hope that Peter B, you know, makes him part somehow, somehow, part of his administration when he wins. Oh, all right. And to the short little man, not looking so good in a Babariga, the diminutive governor of Kaduna State. Goodbye, sorry to see you go. Goodbye, hope I never see you again. Nasir El Rufai. Goodbye, I hope I never see you again. And the reason is just simple. That man is stature. He's a bigot. He's he is um he's tribalistic. He is he is mean. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know any adjective to any other adjective to qualify air fire. Air fire is one of those people that shouldn't be in government. And even if he's going to be in government, he needs someone, you know, higher to call him to order. Um, air fire is not a, a symbol. It's not a character anyone should emulate. Um, I do not care what he did in a. In, uh, in Kaduna, uh, I'm all, always looking at the character and what it portends for us in future. If we have leaders like him, you know, um, in the in the position of leadership, and uh, we're going to we, we're going to continue to have the culture of uh, of uh, of uh, of you know uh, of, of being tyrannic. And uh, for him, um, I think um, Elfire is not. It's not a leader I would like. I would love anyone to emulate. So I would love him to leave his seat, and when he's gone, he should never he should never come back. But I can see that he is not answering question on security uh, for your beloved Tinebu. So if um if he wins, um it means that Elfire will still be around, and that will be a start thing for Nigeria. Oh, all right, and to the life patron of the uh, K guys, uh, Yem saying, pass me another Calabash wiki. So uh, the the Omoti of uh, River State, uh, good, uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go. Goodbye, hope I never see you again. Goodbye, sorry to see him go. Um, but yes, on wiki should, should just be, you know, around the corner. You see, uh, yes, on wiki... Um, you see, I look at him. I look at him in two ways, right? Um, first, he comes. He comes like um, he is. Uh, he is harsh. Um, he has so much ego. Um, um, he's arrogant, um, and he can. He he has shown that he can stab you in the back. 
um, just like he did with the Southeasterners uh, as pertaining to PDP. Let's not forget that it was virtually everybody was say it was the turn of uh, the Southeast. And um, Wike took it upon himself to play for the absent position. And when he failed, then he started playing the Southern card. Um, but I think he played it well. That is the first part of it. The second part of him is that he played it well. He worked for his people um, and all that. So I think we can should just still be around the corner. You know, you want to have that person, you know, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson in those days would be like, instead of you playing against him, he buys you and puts you on the bench. So um, for us, we will, in the southern uh, Niger- in southern Nigeria, we would like to have Wike in the bench, but not in the position of power, but in the bench so that when it comes to, because we know that this Northerners oh. sometimes can wear their ugly head, and when they do, people like Wike should be able to, you know, stand up to them. So um, sorry to see him go. Um, I'll, I'll miss him. I'll miss him, no doubt. Uh, but um, he shouldn't be in a position of power because of his arrogance and um, his brashness. All right. The governor of uh, Katsina State, Amino Masari, do you know enough uh, about him to say uh, goodbye, sorry to see you go, or goodbye, uh, uh, hope I never see you again? He is a calm dude. Uh, I followed him during his... Um, he wasn't a bad uh, house of rape at all. Um, even with his... Uh, uh, the camping and all that. He, he, wasn't, he wasn't really a bad. I wouldn't see him as a bad... Uh, as a bad person per se, incompetent somewhat, um, but certain things that you know that be, uh, that befell him was as a result of you know the constitution, what is in the exclusive, and what is in the, the residual and order, order list that we have out there. So that's the problem I see with uh, Masari in the issue of security. Yes, he is the chief executive officer of his state, but at the same time, he does not really have the power to stop anything that has to do with security because it lies in the exclusive list. So um, sorry to see him go. Um, he should still hang around. Uh, I think uh, we need this, um, this kind of character in government. Oh, 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 all right. It, 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 will wear, it will wear a cheeky smile as it picks your pocket. He believes the best place for a dollar is in his pocket. The governor of uh, 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 Kano State, Abdullah Ganduje, goodbye, sorry to see you go, or goodbye, hope I never see you again. I, I hope never to see him again. Uh, Ganduje is, uh, is corrupt. Uh, Ganduje... Um, I think that's the most, most, and I've had people say that even in terms of infrastructure, it was really, it was really, um, how did my friend use it? He said he, he, he was shading those uh, development, you know, you know, uh, but for the one I know, and I'm going to speak to was his corruption case uh, with uh, Ote Dollar. And um, that case went under the carpet so fast. Uh, uh, so and he, I think he also has some EFCC's uh, 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 investigation going on with him. So I would just say he should just go and just eat his money. Um, if, if EFCC can get him for us, he gets him for us, and he he pays the money. And I mean that's what they do in Nigeria. They can steal as much as you want. When they catch you, just pay a little money, and you'll be a free man. So um, if they can get him, they get him. If they don't get him, it's okay. But I don't just want to see my own government. He should go and never to be seen again. All right. Goodbye. Uh, hope to never see you again. So thank you, Joel. So, so you. Let, let's move on finally to uh, Uptown, who hopefully is still there. Uptown, are you still there? Yes, Uptown has gone to... Uh, has gone to the land of north. So, so 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 thank you uptown so gentlemen we seek to start to round off we try and cap it on a seven hours today uh so we seek to start to round off and we kick it off again uh let's go uh bottom up uh let's kick it off with fatai just to give that final opportunity because people enjoy so much hearing i certainly enjoy so much hearing from fatai if you hear from fatai he just it's a bit like a fair. He has a mesmerizing uh, manner of speech. Uh, so, Fatai, or after all that build up, you better be there. Fatai, are you there? Look at that. Look at that. Eh? Look at this guy. He's a yam head. I, I changed my mind. He's a yam head. So, thank you, Fatai. Thank you for joining us. Uh, he's probably just stepped away from his system. But uh, thank you, Fatai. 
Let's go on from Fatai to Uptown, try Uptown again. So Uptown, are you still there? All right, I think Uptown uh, may uh, be otherwise indisposed. So uh, thank you, Uptown. So from Uptown, let's let's go back to Joel of Nashville. So Joel of Nashville, uh, you're up again. Joel of Nashville. It's put on way since he came back from Nigeria. Joel of Nashville. I added, uh, I, added, I added like 15 pounds. I was like, wow. I took my my I added 15 pounds. So um that's that's uh that's purely what i ate um i was indisciplined and i was no no, uh, no but that's that's the whole point of being on holiday though you can't be on holiday and be, <laughs> and be watching what you know I you did, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yeah but i mean I, I i always i always preach that you know you know whatever you do you do in moderation uh i think i went a little bit overboard with that and i take responsibility so i i, I hope to hit the gym um, one man. Um, the the issue about I think the issue was about um, Okube. Um, I've not really read. I when I woke up to come to work, I saw the uh, I saw the the news. Um, so I I I'm not really grounded as to what happened. But I was thinking that he is going to jail. But someone was saying, I think I read where they were saying something like he has to pay, I think, one million and all that. No, yeah, one... it, it was it, it was either going to go to jail for two years or pay uh, a penalty of 13 million naira, which has now been paid, so he's been set free. Okay, 13 million naira. I, I, you see, I'm always, I'm always uh, 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 indifferent when it comes to, you know, the uh, the the penalty and the alternative right so when you say someone should pay 30 million naira or go to years for two years or go to jail for two years i think that is a slap on the wrist if that is was an actual corruption case i believe that if you have an a, a actual corruption case you should go to jail without any option any other option if you are found to be guilty you go to jail if it is seven years seven years no option of uh, fine or whatever it is. Uh, you go to jail with hard label. You know, so I don't really get what the system is talking about, but I just see it this way. If it was a criminal, a criminal would not be given that option. Like if, if it's an arm robber, he wouldn't be given such option. So uh, the way I look at it is that I think uh, it, it, it is political. Um, at this point, at this point in time, I think it is political. Um, the case was listened to according to them. Um, it was, it was being, it has been, in, it has been in the in the pipeline for I think two, three years now, and um, all of a sudden it was listened to today, and you know the same judgment was granted today. So, the the hastiness, the hastiness which we they delivered that judgment um, is kind of suspect. However. If you if you offend if you offend the law, you do the time or you 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 pay the fine. Um, so I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at that with um, with Okube. Um, I don't really see it as something that was too weighty to be given uh, at a two million option of fine. So that's the way I see it. Well, man. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. Uh, jo join us again. People have been asking of you, but uh, so you. that's that, that's Joel of Nashville. He's back with a bang. So thank you, Joel of Nashville. So from Joel of Nashville, we go back to Ayo, who I thought had left us because he was so silent all the way through. But Ayo, closing remarks. Uh, Ayo, who has now left us? Uh, Ayo. Oh, all right. So there it is. So 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 thank you, thank you, Ayo. So 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 thank you, Ayo. So from Ayo, let's go on to let's go on to World Peace. World Peace, Europe next. Uh, konnichiwa, everybody. <laughs> uh, quickly, this section was a very good section, and uh, I must I, I must thank everybody. I got to announce you. I know you hear me. I wait to do you want you want take me. You would do you want flog me on your history, but me already take you on the Mickey way on the on the crocodile dive. So I hope one day we'll talk. Quickly, uh, let me greet the people in the comment section. Uh, I greet all of you now. Thanks, uh, Mr. Garo B, Ayo, and the rest of people. Thank you, guys. Uh, make sure to try, click like, share, and thumb up. Come on, don't forget to buy one man 
coffee, do what I say, not what I do. If they are going to do my own, Guyaka, uh, it will be. So, uh, one man, I don't have much to say. It was a good section. Uh, uh, Uptown, thanks for today. A guy, Matic, take it easy. I just talk all the talk here, nothing personal. I see Saki Father as a very nice person, Joel of town they are very very different people have, i mean kind of people i've seen when they're different good people to be with uh god i greet you uh rational might i greet you a lot of people i never greet ever since i greet all of you now one man thank you thank you for today i look forward to see you guys tomorrow peace uh -oh. i'm out oh all right thank you well peace and thank you for the whiskey so thank you for the whiskey if only it came in time for my cold i would have used that as an excuse to drink it but now i can't drink it but uh thank you our uh, well, peace so thank you our well, peace from what well, peace we go on to rational what mind who wants us to beware of spinners but then came just spinning like a top all the way through so the artist from my name known as uh, Rational Mind, now MC Spinner. So MC Spinner, uh, closing remarks. All right, well, one man, thank you so much. And thank you, the audience and our listeners and all of that. So yeah, please um, like and um, share. Um, and always uh, please come back. We love you all, guys. We love you guys. Um, I think, um, one man, I must thank you for your time. Uh, I'm doing this every day, um, about five, seven hours. That's a lot of time to be spending in front of a computer. For some of us, we enjoy it um, because as we walk along, we walk here, we're doing stuff at the same time, we listen. So that um, helps us. So anyway, um, for me, I think I was expecting us to talk about the Befiele matter and the Tinubu matter of the the gaps and everything that he also did today. About it yesterday or sometime. Uh, well, is, is that Tinubu's gaps space? Is it not played out? Because it will make another different set of gaps tomorrow. Yeah. And, then, know, and so, so, how many more Agbado, Agbado sessions can we do? Well, it, it's still, yeah. for me, it's still something like, well, let me just leave that uh, because um, before the battle. No, no, no. Now, it's a quantity that is already known to that space. So, we know he makes gaps. We know he speaks in a slot manner and he has been doing that all the way through. So unless anything, else, we, we can do, you know, if we want to do Tenable's gas, we can do it every single day. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I agree. so. I appreciate it. So, but anyway, I mean, it's okay, let's just leave that. So for me, um, it definitely matter. Um, my question is, why now? But then I want to say much on that. So sorry, what happened to Emefele? Have I missed something in the loop? Oh, wow. Oh, man, it must have been. They, they went to court. Um, the DSS went to court. Have you heard about uh, this Kazare? Kazari, who went on, um, on uh, who went on on air and said that um, he had um, demanded from uh, the president to arrest Emefele. Emefele has not been remitting. He has not been declaring all the import duties and stamps and everything that the federal government has been making from stamps and all of that. And so, and they say that money has been running to trillions of naira, and Emefele never declared it. Emefele rather, that, rather, rather than give it to federal government. He put it in different bands and he was getting the interest for themselves. That's what was alleged. I don't know how true that is. And so, um, Kazare, who being a um, uh, House of Red member on finance or something like that, and banking, I think, he discovered that and he said it, it was true. One Yoruba guy who did the whole mathematics and do the whole breaking and coding and everything and found out that they've not been remitting this, they've not been declaring this money to the federal government for the past, maybe I said, maybe for the past, I guess it has been there in the office, yeah, actually. So I said that money is running to like 20 trillion. I don't know how to actually this. So then he went to see Bob. He went to see um uh Bubu. Bubu said, okay, I give you. He said, okay, then it's the only one person I trust that could really work with you, according to some people said. He said he went to um, I listened to him actually. I listened to him, but not to that point where I, somebody was also narrating what happened actually. That he now went, he said if somebody in DSS, that's the only person I trust. And that person from DSS was now working with Kazari. If you go to Brekete, Brekete uh, Radio, you will see him, let's say Kazare, where he went there to, I mean, to make an expose of what uh, Emefele has been doing in CBN. So, and um, Kazare had a mandate from the president to go arrest him. If they find out, the panel could really find out that he has been, not been declaring this money and it's only running to trillions of naira. Why should Nigeria be borrowing money when we have this kind of almost like 20, 30 trillion naira hidden somewhere in Central Bank? So then uh, the, he, has, he had started with the probing and then he found out that it was true. 
Now they want to arrest MFLA. Now DSS now has to go to court to get an injunction for his arrest and removal for him to be detained for 60 days. Now, I think uh, the civil society, this man, I don't know if you went on, like you see it, it's on Arise and uh, I think on the uh, channels. The civil society, some civil society group, they went on here, they, they, they gather people, they call on media station and they said, they gave a, a, a press conference saying that there's, a, there's an attempt to arrest um, this guy, MFLA, that it's all orchestrated. Uh, they are charging him for terrorism and all of that. I, 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 I didn't even know the, what was the charges until when they said it, that it was on the ground of terrorism. So how has he been a terrorist? That is where, so the, the, the old drama is just, a, it's so ridiculous. I hope maybe tomorrow, when, by the time you do your research on that, you will listen to it, you understand what I'm trying to say better. So the point I'm trying, to, I'm trying to say is, why now? If really this guy is truly guilty of this, why now? Why now that he has, he has, um, uh, as he called, he has uh, uh, started this uh, policy on um, restricting people to the amount of money they can withdraw. The House of Red members, a lot of them are seeking re-election, and a lot of them are working for the bigger fish, like Tinubu and the rest of them. And now they are being hampered to be able to get money, to share money on, because they are restricted to a new Naira note now. In fact, the new Naira note now, if you go and look at, as you're collecting from back now, they will be they will, they're taking down the numbers, the serial numbers of the money they give to you. They will list everything down. The bank will list it down when they give it to you at the bank. So all those restrictions is making them look as if they are being washed. Now they now they have to now use this issue, this issue of money stock in Central Bank running to two three thirty three loan era that if it has not been declared for. Is this stock in Central Bank or has it moved it? I cannot imagine that because it's buying up banks is uh yeah is is, is buying fleets yeah. of uh, is even buying islands in the Caribbean. No, I mean. So that's what it, 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 the thing is bigger than that. If you go to Breakfast, you saw another. I said they say according to a Black League, I've yet to see that. He said there was another guy from Southeast. I made an expose on the oil that they were stealing from Nigeria. The US alone has about 16 trillion, I know, 16 billion naira, a billion dollars worth of oil that was stolen that were brought here that were never de declared to Nigeria, Nigeria government. So a lot of things is good. No, 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 no. That, that story has been in play for that's a long time. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. so that's another thing. So the thing is, there's a lot of things going on. Um, now, what, what just the bottom line is this. Now, they went to, DSS went to uh, court I think the court had to throw out that case now <laughs> for some frivolous reasons. If you listen to this reason, it's So, just mind you, what is what kind of country is this? They said, first of all, it needs the as if uh, it needs Buari's uh, uh, consent for him to, for the DSS to be able to arrest Emefele. And then they said they did not put Governor Emefele there. They only say Emefele, Godwin Emefele. But the fact did not put Governor, <laughs> he's throwing it out. It's so ridiculous. So, I mean, I mean, just go and read it. Go and read it. Uh, it's so ridiculous. So the point is. Emefile is not going to jail. They're not going to arrest him now. That's the point now. So Kazari has maybe he has failed now. Maybe they had to file another one. I don't know. Maybe they're going to accept it. But the point is that why now the lawmakers are fighting just to have Emefile detained or removed for this policy that is really trying to hamper them from maybe maybe being able to rig the election by buying votes or whatever it is. So but we're going to see how that plays out. Um, it's to tell us Nigerians that Nigerians there's a lot of things going on in that country, a lot of corruption. Huge corruption. We wonder why Nigerians state about one hundred thirty-three million Nigerians could be in poverty when we have this wealth. We're sitting on the, I mean, huge vast resources, and we're still getting. I mean, our, our, our oil is being stolen. The money in us is not being accounted for. And why, imagine why thirteen. I mean, one hundred thirty-three million people are in poverty. Well, maybe when maybe tomorrow when we all do more research on that, we're going to find out more on that tomorrow. I want to leave it at that. Thank you, one man. Thank you, everybody. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Rational Mind. So thank you, Rational Mind. So from Rational Mind, we go on to Saki Fada. Saki Fada. Oh, all right. I think we've lost Saki. So so thank you, Saki Fada. Uh, yes, I think we've lost Saki Fada. So, so thank you, Saki Fada. Thank you for your company. I, I think he only came in really to defend uh, uh, the Peter B space. So thank you, Saki Fada. So from Saki Fada to the father of them all, the man with the golden gun, Ajan Lekoko. Thank you, one man, and thanks to every panelist. Your contribution was quite uh, meaningful. Um, everybody did very good. I hope that uh, you guys will keep the flag flying. Uh, the flag of the platform is flying high 
and higher than every other platform because this is a factual base based uh, platform we are not uh, talk and go we talk to issues and we talk to fact so that is what this uh, platform uh, represent and um, most importantly we are all family we are uh, people from the same country people that you know have been living together uh, living among um, i mean we 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 have known each other we, even though they were from different uh, ethnic groups but uh, yes the, the 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 southerners we are very close with each other a lot of Easterners lives in lagos they live in the west we know them they know us so but when it comes to politics we play our politics differently that is the the main issue but maybe um very soon maybe we we'll, we both realize that yes is the time to come together and play the politics together our great father the Afeni Ferry father, Baba Yadi Banjo, has demonstrated a real leadership by not supporting a candidate of a prominent party who is from Yoruba land, but supporting a candidate of another party that's an evil man. So I hope that will send a very strong signal that is a time for us to live above i mean and practice our politics above tribal line tribal sentiment we should do away with that and then come together and look for the best of the best among us and uh, you know uh, join hand and then support um, uh, the best of the best among us so that uh, we can continue to live each, uh, together uh, like one family and then uh, continue to uh, look for the best of the best and the greatness of that country so other than that i thank our people in the comment section we are the strength of the platform come back tomorrow to join one man and our listeners across the world use this moment to click on the like button so that uh, um, it won't be only you listening to us every day others are out there that haven't got uh, a sneak signal from uh, youtube so when you click on the uh, like button that will help the youtube algorithm and uh, others that have not heard us they can easily get uh, um, uh, a notification somehow and uh, maybe they will join us and bring the best of the best uh, contribution so and uh, to one man thank you six hours 48 minutes you have done it again tomorrow by the grace of god bringing on which i join you good morning to you over there good night american good night canadian by god grace we shall meet tomorrow and we continue the struggle from there. Thank you, Omar. Uh, 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 before you leave, I want to show you something. I, I want to show you something. Um, uh, uh, are you are you still there? Yeah. Um. So so in, in the course of this session, somebody sent me this clip that uh, that is on your screen now, and then I clicked on it. Uh, and I saw the headline, and then I wanted to go back to click on it again. Uh, but it, when I tried to go back there, it looks as though it has been quickly deleted. So let me play it now, and then we'll see what he has to say. So what this is telling us, he says, Zambia and DRC hand over mineral resources rights to the United States. So let's see if it still plays. Uh, supply chain opens the door to the U.S. and like-minded investment to keep more value added in Africa. Uh, electric vehicles help reduce carbon emissions. They support the global response uh, to the climate crisis. Uh, this memorandum of understanding that we're about to sign uh, signals the support by the U.S. government 
for what is a very important project in these two countries. Uh, different government agencies, USA, the Commerce, uh, the Trade Development Agency, are exploring technical assistance for the EV uh, supply chain. Uh, our Exim Bank, uh, the Development Finance Corporation, will be exploring financing and support mechanisms for investment in African electric vehicle value chains. So this is, um, I think, an important moment to take note of a truly important initiative for the future, not only of the DRC in Zambia, uh, not only for, uh, for Africa, but potentially uh, for the world as um, more than anything. Uh, we're together in combating the climate crisis, together in developing new renewable uh, sources of energy, uh, together also in building out economies for the future, and this is a part of it. So it's an honor to be with my colleagues, uh, to be able to sign, and it's an honor to have uh, the presidents here to witness this interview. So with that. Thank you. Oh, 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 all right. I, I I wasn't really clear on what's being said there, but uh, if 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 I re if if I try to go back to it now, you'll see that it's no longer there. Oh, okay, let me refresh it. Let me refresh it, and uh, you see, can you see? It says this video is no longer available. This video has been removed by the uploader. So so that video was put up and then it was horribly deleted. Uh, so I, I just wanted to play it on there so I can capture it. So I, I've captured it here down. So I, then I'll, I'll go back to it to see what, what I can make of it. But uh, it's quite a curious one. Uh, uh, so so but, but, but we've captured it anyway. Uh, so that, that's a, a kind of a, a, a top secret um, a meeting behind the closed door and where some uh, agreement is reached and uh, somebody was able to capture it on the video mm. and uh, filter it out and uh, uh, what, what do you what do you sense there that why they they have to take down the video yes uh, is what what's that video what the headline was saying is that um what those people were signing up the drc and zambia was their all of their mineral resources to the united states so that that's what that video is, was telling us so uh, that person sent it to me. I clicked on it in the course of the session. I saw the headline, and then I wanted to go back to it again, uh, but I wasn't sure where it was. So I went back to the Instagram link that the person sent me, and I clicked on it again, and it only then landed me on that this video has been removed, which then triggered my senses to say, why would it be removed? Yeah. You know? But uh, I thought I'd lost it. In fact, I sent the person an, a, 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 re a reply to say, Look, this video has been removed. But then, as I was trying, to, as I was closing down all the tabs on my on my screen, where I had originally clicked on it, it was still resting there. So that what so I just wanted to play it so that I can capture it here, so that uh, I have it. So and we are able to capture it. So I'll probably go back and revisit it to see uh, uh to see what 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 just what is going on there. But uh. I'll keep you posted. So, but but, but but if that actually happened, that means about sixty percent or is five percent of mineral resources in Africa is gone. Because well, that's uh, it. Yes. Yeah, because that uh, DRC, according to some information, the uh, some resources that are in that country is, uh, I, I mean, they worth trillions upon trillions of dollars it's the so, most mineral resource rich place on the planet on the DRC. planet yeah the congo formerly mm. zaire you know it's it's uh it's well quite a, I, it, I won't i won't blame us though you know why i won't blame us because um uh, to, go and, china, to, go and, to, to go and exploit black people <laughs> yeah i mean china is uh encroaching out on in, on in, in africa in africa and they are taking all the resources so why what what are they looking why, why, why should they just sit down and allow china to take over the whole of the continent uh, resources uh, at, at free will like that they give them little things and they take all the resources the same thing is happening in nigeria they are taking all of our resources and they, they are building a locomotive train uh, 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 railway for them uh, that that doesn't fit uh, the, the modern the the modern world china is building fast 
fast um, uh, what do they call it uh, fa fast train service I mean, if, uh, they, they, they've just recently built the fastest uh, running uh, uh, train service in, in the world why they are building locomotives for us so uh, I, I don't it's just the superpowers they they, they 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 are looking at what China is doing in Africa and uh, I, I think they 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 seen it that uh, they shouldn't allow China to take over the whole uh, continent uh, because China is taking all the resources and using it to develop themselves and uh, developing China is a threat to United States particularly you know it's a threat to United States so Oh, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, Adele Koko. So, thank you, Adele Koko, and and thank you, everyone. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to speed through it just to cap it under seven hours. Uh, thank you, one and all. Thank you to the super chat and the Ayo who 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 buys the coffee solely. So, thank you, one and all, to the chatters, the new faces, and all the traditional ones. Uh, good to have you around. Always a delight in your company. So, let me delight in your company again tomorrow. We do it all over again tomorrow. So, I live here. Carry conversation with the information here. I say peace.